Hello everyone. In this video, we will be taking a look at type B chopper. So let's get started. So if you carefully observe the circuit diagram over here, we have considered an RLE load. The reason is because we are trying to ensure that it's very realistic in nature because when we are seeing chopper circuits, we will be connecting motors as a load as well. And motors, DC motors will be having a resistance and it will be having an inductance and a back EMF that is generated. So it is represented as RLE. So now why we are considering this case is because in type B chopper, when once we say type B chopper, that means that the energy is delivered from the load to the source. Very, very important observation. How does that happen? I will be explaining it through the analysis. But one important observation that you have to remember right away is this motor will be acting as a generator and it will be supplying power from the load to the source. So how is that operation is what we're going to see in detail. So during turn on, what happens is that the chopper will be energized. That is, we are going to give a gate pulse to chopper CH1. As a result, it is acting as short circuit over here and Consequently, if you carefully observe, let us say this E is basically the back EMF of a motor. What happens is that this is positive and this is negative, isn't it? So the power flow will be through this direction, isn't it? And it is through this direction and it flows through this direction and it flows through this direction. The diode here is open circuited. The reason is because if you carefully observe over here, when the back EMF E is supplying the power, what happens? The inductor will be charging with a polarity plus and minus over here. And consequently, minus is connected to the anode of diode D and plus is connected to the cathode of diode D. As a result, it is acting as diode is acting as reverse circuit and it is open in nature. So the current will be flowing only through this path. And if you carefully observe, the output voltage over here will be equal to zero. Why is it? Because this is a short circuit. This becomes redundant and when you use a voltmeter at this point, it's basically going to read the short circuit voltage that is V out is equal to zero volts. So two important observations here. The output voltage is zero and the current is flowing in the opposite direction. Meaning to say, if the current is flowing in this direction, then it is positive. If the current is flowing in the opposite direction in the load, that means it is negative. Because our convention is, if it's coming in through the load, then it is positive. If it is going from the load, it is negative. So that's why the current is negative. Now what happens during T off? During T off, what happens is that the inductor does not allow sudden change in current as we are already aware. So this will be plus and minus. It will reverse its polarity and according to the property of Lenz law ensures that the current is still flowing in the same direction as it was originally flowing. So in this case, plus is connected to the anode of diode D and as a result, the diode is getting forward biased. But you might be having a question as this plus is also connected to the cathode of diode D. But one important observation here is we are assuming that the voltage that is available across the inductor is more than that of the source and hence it's forward biasing the diode D. As a result, the current will be flowing through this path. It will be flowing through this path. It will be flowing through this path and it will be returning back to the load over here. So basically the load is supplying the current. That is, it's not only through the inductor, it's also because of the back EMF. So the inductor reverses its polarity, but you have to carefully observe that the back EMF is also supplying power to the load. So over here, what will be the output voltage V out? V out is nothing but over here is nothing but E plus VL. That is E, that is the back EMF plus the voltage across the inductor. So V out is equal to E plus VL and the current is in the reverse direction over here. Very, very important observation. Now let's take a look at the waveforms. We'll be considering the source voltage Vs, which is a constant DC voltage over here. And we'll be applying gate pulses at certain durations. Now what is the nature of output voltage over here? So if you carefully observe in terms of output voltage, it will be either E plus VL or it will be zero. Meaning to say the output voltage is always positive and it is never going to negative, isn't it? So as a result, what will happen during T on? This is the duration at which we are turning on the thyristor or the switch. So in that case, what happens over here at this point, the output voltage was zero, isn't it? So as a result, it will be equal to zero. And once you turn off that particular 
chopper at some point say this instant so the output voltage will be equal to e plus vl this is nothing but e plus vl which will be greater than the supply voltage as a result i am indicating the square wave with a greater peak compared to that of the source voltage i hope this point is clear now again next cycle what happens this is t on and this is t off next cycle again it goes to zero and then again it becomes equal to e plus vl and the cycle repeats in this particular fashion now what happens to the current i out as we know the current i out is basically negative that is the load current is flowing from the load to the source as a result the current is going negative so at this point what happens is that you are supplying a gate pulse the chopper is just turned on at that point and consequently the current through the inductor is actually discharging so the inductor we are assuming that the inductor was charging and it has charged to some extent and consequently the current through the inductor is discharging through the resistor r over here as a result you are seeing a decreasing current at this point so the current is decreasing in the next cycle what is happening the inductor reverses its polarity and it is supplying the current back to the source over here and the inductor is slowly char starts charging in the next cycle and as a result the current through the inductor is slowly increasing in this particular case again the cycle repeats that is the current discharges through the resistor r and then the current begins to increase in the next cycle i hope this point is clear now what is the essence of having a type b chopper in the circuit so if you see the output voltage was always positive or zero and the output current was always negative meaning to say that it will be operating in the second quadrant that is forward braking mode that means forward braking mode is nothing but the mode that corresponds to converting mechanical energy to electrical energy what type of device that does this operation that is nothing but a generator isn't it so when it is acting as a generator it will be operating as forward braking mode basically the same motor will be acting as a generator and it will be operating in second quadrant so the importance of the circuit is very clear if you want to operate a motor only as a generator you can just construct the circuit and operate it such that this motor will always be acting as a generator and not as a motor so if your requirement is to use a motor as a generator all the time in that case you can use the simple circuit to do that i hope this video gave you a clear understanding of how type b chopper works in case you have any questions feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching stay tuned thank you